Good afternoon. I'm Dan Mosier, Associate Dean for the College of Agriculture. Welcome to the College of Agriculture Fall Commencement Ceremony. I wish to thank our bagpiper, Terry Ferguson, and our organist, David Ochner, for the professional, for the processional music. Please stand for the playing of our national anthem. Audience, you may now be seated. We are pleased that you have joined us for the Fall 2022 College of Agriculture commencement. Today we are assembled to honor an excellent group of agricultural graduates for their many accomplishments. However, we also wish to acknowledge some very important people who made it possible for our graduates to succeed, the family members present today. We have many spouses and children, parents, siblings, grandparents, and great-grandparents with us today. Will all the family members of our graduates please stand and be recognized? It is now my pleasure to introduce Hannah Ballard, graduating senior in agribusiness, originally from Madison, Kansas. During her time at K-State, Hannah has served as the president of Alpha of Clovia 4-H Cooperative Leadership House, an active member of the Agricultural Economics Club, Alpha Zeta, Kansas Corn Collegiate Academy, and was a team member of the International Food and Agribusiness Marketing Association, who won the international championship last summer in Costa Rica. Additionally, Hannah was honored as the College of Agriculture Student of the Month. Along with her involvement, Hannah has gained valuable work experience as a student worker for the Agricultural Economics Department, where she had the opportunity to travel to the World Ag Expo in California to recruit students for the College of Agriculture. Hannah has completed internships with Frontier Farm Credit and Cargill. After graduating, she will be returning to Frontier Farm Credit as an insurance services officer in Baldwin City, Kansas. Please join me in welcoming Hannah Baldwin to the podium. All right. Thank you, Dr. Mosher. Good afternoon, faculty, staff, friends, family, and graduates. I am honored to have been selected for the reflections today. I would like to start off by simply thanking the Lord and everyone who has helped us throughout our journey here and for getting us to where we are today. Thinking about my time here at K-State, many special memories came to mind, like going to football games and tailgates, traveling to bowl games, hanging out in the library, meeting up for lunch in the union with my friends, helping professors or judging coaches, going to club meetings in the evenings, and even attending sorority and fraternity social events. 
I started to realize it's the people we have met that make our K-State memories something we'll hang on to for years to come. Graduates, take a second and think about a person who has impacted your time at K-State. Maybe the person that came to mind for you was the stranger you sat beside in class who is now your best friend or a favorite professor. For me, I'll never forget Mr. Lehman, who invited me to be a part of a competition team that gave me the opportunity to travel beyond the United States for the first time. Or Dr. V, who hosted our entire class for a Christmas dinner at his house. I'm also thankful for the friends who have helped me through many homework assignments, and I know that they will continue to help me through anything life throws my way. While Manhattan is a special place for all of us, it is the people we met here that make it feel a little bit more like home. Let's not forget about the connections we have made here because they will benefit us for a lifetime to come. People are placed in our lives for different reasons and at different times, but always for a purpose. Congratulations, graduates, on this accomplishment. Whether you breeze through your classes or even consider dropping out, we've all had a unique path that led us here today. As we return home to our operations or find ourselves in a new community, we must remember it's not about the place, but the people who make it special. Go Cats. Thank you, Hannah, for sharing your reflections. As we begin this program, I will introduce the platform party. I would ask each of them to stand as they are introduced. Please hold your applause until all have been introduced. Beginning on my immediate left is Dr. Ernie Minton, Dean of the College of Agriculture and Director of K-State Research and Extension. Dr. Richard Linton, Kansas State University President. Dr. Charles Tabor, Kansas State University Provost and Executive Senior Vice President. Troy Anderson, Vice President of Operations, Ardent Mills, LLC. Dr. Jennifer Borman, Assistant Dean, College of Agriculture. And Dr. Zia Wiley, Assistant Dean, College of Agriculture. You may be seated. In the second row is Dr. Alan Featherstone, Head, the Department of Agricultural Economics. Dr. Jason Ellis, Head of the Department of Communications and Agricultural Education. Dr. Raj Koshla, Head, the Department of Agronomy. Dr. Steve Keeley, Head of the Department of Horticulture and Natural Resources. And Dr. Greg Hadley, Director, Extension Applied, Re Applied Research for K-State Research and Extension. Continuing on my immediate right is Dina Kaur, Assistant Dean, College of Agriculture. Brendan Meek, graduating senior, Milling Science and Management. Hannah Ballard, graduating senior, Agribusiness. And Amy Button Rents, President and CEO of the K-State Alumni Association. You may be seated. In the second row is Dr. Mike Day, Head of the Department of Animal Sciences and Industry. Dr. Julia Dogan, Interim Head, Department of Grain Science and Industry. And Dr. Brandon Haddock, Coordinator, LGBT Resource Center, representing the K-State Office of Student Life. Thank you. It is now my distinct pleasure to now introduce Troy Anderson as our commencement speaker. Troy Anderson serves as Vice President of Operations at Ardent Mills, based in Denver, Colorado. Troy leads all aspects of plant operations for Ardent Mills across the United States, Canada, and Puerto Rico by driving strong cross-functional collaboration while ensuring, ensuring a common team member and customer experience overseeing operational excellence, regulatory compliance, and serving as a talent leader for operations functions. 
Troy is from rural McPherson County and graduated from Kansas State University in May of 1992 with a bachelor's degree in milling science and management. He joined Cargill upon graduating and held various positions within their U.S. flour milling and grain operations prior to his current role at Arden Mills. Troy and his wife Allison, also a proud Wildcat, reside in Manhattan, Kansas, and together they have three children and four grandchildren. Please join me in welcoming Troy to the podium. Thank you, Dean Mosier. I love K-State. It's fitting that the first stanza of our alma mater, written by Humphrey Jones back in 1903, is I know a spot that I love full well. I love K-State not because we're the newest Big 12 football champions or because we were just crowned the 2022 crop judging national champions for the 19th year out of the last 24. Those are great for K-State, but I love K-State because we're family, and that's what makes us special. University and College of Ag Administration, staff, faculty, students, families, and friends, it's an honor to be here to celebrate the significant achievement with you. A little over 30 years ago, I sat where you are today. Enjoy it, cherish the moments. They go by entirely too fast. According to my wife, Allison, and confirmed in Proverbs, gray hair, which I have plenty of, mostly hidden by this cap, is a crown of splendor and a likely sign of wisdom. Part of my wisdom gained over the years is that the true art of effective public speaking is to finish speaking before your audience has finished listening. I'll do my best to achieve that today. Graduates. First, take time to reflect on those that helped you achieve where you are today. Those that have humbly served you and helped you do your best, be your best along the way. Those that have encouraged and influenced you on your journey so far. If you haven't already, today is the time to consider how you can begin to pass that forward as your journey continues from here. Now, in pursuit of whatever is next, I encourage you to focus on these characteristics that I have observed and learned deliver the healthiest and most successful professional and personal relationships. Humility, service to others, be your best and do your best every day. Practice humility. Humility is about being respectful in every situation. It's about self-awareness to recognize your own shortcomings and limitations while having confidence in who you are and your ability to help others be better. It's about your awareness to recognize the strengths of others and the value of the collective group versus any given individual. In C.S. Lewis' words, the truly humble individual will not be thinking about humility they will not be thinking about themselves at all. Keep your motivations and intentions focused on what's best for everyone, not on selfish ambition. Care about and value the interest of others. Use whatever position or authority that you have for the benefit of others to be better collectively. Practice humility. Serve others. George Washington Carver, one of America's brightest agricultural scientists and inventors who was globally recognized for his contributions to agriculture and food innovations has this epitaph engraved on his tombstone in Tuskegee. He could have added fortune to fame, but caring for neither, he found happiness and honor in being helpful to the world. At any given moment, you can be interacting with someone who is trying their best to not fall apart. Whatever you do, do it with kindness in your heart and a seared desire to serve others. Productive conversations, effective relationships, begin with assuming positive intentions. Listening with curiosity and when you speak, speak with compassion. I've rarely regretted what I did not say, 
especially in heated moments. Serve others. Be your best and do your best. Show up, be on time, embrace every opportunity, every moment. Good luck is a result of good preparation and good planning. Remember that your greatest learnings will come from your most difficult situations. Many will come from your biggest failures. There will be adversity, fail fast, learn everything you can, and get back at it. Be your best, do your best. Live a life based on integrity and character. As you get older and look back, you'll enjoy it all over again. Richard Armour, mid-1900s poet, coined, we all love a Finnish speaker, not meaning one that is polished, just one that is through. My sincerest best wishes to each and every one of you. Go achieve, achieve your dreams with humility, a heart to serve, and by being your best and doing your best every day. Go Cats! Thank you, Troy. It is now my pleasure to introduce Brendan Meek, graduating senior in milling science and management with a minor in agricultural economics from Paola, Kansas. While at K-State, Brendan served as the head of flower sales for the K-State Milling Science Club, a College of Agriculture ambassador, and a member of Alpha Mu Grain Science Honorary. He completed internships with Miller Milling in the summer of 2020, Bungie Milling in the summer of 2021, and Graincraft in the summer of 2022. After graduation, Brendan will start with Graincraft as a technical miller. Please join me in welcoming Brendan Meek to the podium for the graduate address. Thank you, Dr. Mosier, and thank you everyone for being here today. I would first like to thank each and every parent, professor, guardian, friend in attendance today, because I speak for myself and I feel as uh, also with uh, my fellow other graduates that we would not be here without you. My fellow graduates, take a breath, soak it in. We did it. We'll just ignore the fact that we have to take finals next week. And if your mind works anything like mine, you're sitting down there looking up going, oh, so this is what it would look like if I played basketball here. We are here to celebrate that all your time and money has paid off and you finally get to walk across this stage and celebrate what you spent the last four-ish years on. And boy, didn't the time go fast. It only seems like yesterday that I was walking on campus for my very first day of classes, my freshman year when I was a lot younger and about 30 pounds lighter. We cannot thank our professors enough because when I came to campus, I knew nothing about flour milling. I grew up on a livestock farm. Saw milling science says, that looks like fun, and here I am. I'm sure that many of us can relate to the fact that we either knew nothing about the field that we were going into or we had no idea how much we would learn. Our parents would probably say we were, and still are, know-it-alls, but it's hard to comprehend how much we learned while we were here. Most of us knew this day would come, but I don't think we realized how real it would become. We have had some very good times here and some challenging times. This group is one of the few. We were the last group that got the dreadful email that after the spring break of 2020, we would not be coming back to campus and we would be finishing that semester online. However, out of all that, one thing prevailed and seemed to grow larger than ever, and that was agriculture. We, have been, we had now been labeled in the eyes of people as essential. We learned that without agriculture, the world doesn't work. We were the first ones back on campus because as I personally found out, it's hard to run a flour mill online from home. The College of Ag made sure that we were here practicing our hands-on learning that we take so much pride in. And because of this, this group of students became tighter than ever because we truly felt the effects of the saying, you don't know what you have until it's gone. We came back to campus with a renewed energy and a new appreciation for our learning. And I think that is something that is truly special about this group. Because of this, we are resilient. No difficulty can stand in our way. We are adaptable. We can adjust to anything life throws at us and fix any problem like we got a handful of twine, bailing wire, and a little bit of redneck engineering. We may, be, we may bend, but we will certainly not break, and there is no ceiling to what we can accomplish. 
So as we go our separate directions, I want to challenge each and every one of you to keep learning and don't take learning opportunities for granted. My grandpa always told me and still tells me to this day that whether you like it or not, every day is a school day. And what you do with what you learn on a daily basis is what separates you from the rest. If we continue to learn and grow ourselves as people and professionals, there is no goal that is too big and we can accomplish anything we set our minds to. There is work to be done, mouths to be fed, and lives to be lived. So let's get out there and show them what we've got. Once again, I would like to thank everyone for being here today to celebrate with us. Remember at some point in your very busy day to just pause and take it in because we're going to want to remember this for a long time. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to get to work. Thank you again, congratulations, and go Cats. Thank you, Brandon, for your words and your leadership. Before we proceed to the degree ceremony, we are pleased to have Amy Button Renz, President and CEO of the K-State Alumni Association, bring special greetings on behalf of the Alumni Association. I'm excited to join you today to welcome you into the alumni family of Kansas State University and the K-State Alumni Association. As an alumnus, you now join a K-State network of more than 203,000 living graduates. Our mission at the Alumni Association is to lead and inspire lifelong involvement that will benefit Kansas State University and all members of our Wildcat community. Our core values guide us in our mission to help keep you connected with K-State. Our most important value is LINK. We provide the lifelong link that alumni depend on to remain connected. You can stay in touch through hundreds of alumni activities held on campus, around the country, internationally, and even virtually. Another value is tradition. You will likely celebrate a few traditions this weekend as you sing the alma mater for the first time as a new graduate or take a KSU photo at your favorite spot on campus. The final value I'd like to talk about today is purple. For K-Staters, it's more than a color. It's a symbol of pride, connection, and family. In recognition of your graduation, the College of Agriculture, along with the K-State Alumni Association, are providing you with a complimentary one-year membership to the association. We hope you will enjoy the membership benefits and will always be an active member. K-State alumni are among the most loyal in the nation. Our membership ranks in the top five nationally for the percentage of graduates who are members. That loyalty is shared by generations of K-Staters who have the same passion for K-State that you feel today as you receive your degree from one of the finest universities in the nation. We are also pleased to present you with an exclusive alumni business card holder. As you go through life and your titles and addresses change, please be sure to keep us updated. We want to make sure you are always connected to your K-State family. Congratulations and go Cats! Graduates, we have a few additional announcements for the degree ceremony. The College of Agriculture is pleased to provide a complimentary professional photograph of your graduation. One photo will be taken on stage and a second will be taken at the backdrop at the rear of the seating area. Please do not pause for the camera as you walk across the stage. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Richard Linton, President of Kansas State University, and invite him to the podium for the conferral of degrees. President Linton. So this is the time that we've all been waiting for. Will all graduates now please rise for the conferral of degrees? By the authority of the people of Kansas and the Kansas Board of Regents, and upon recommendation by the faculty and upon completion of all degree requirements, I am very pleased to confer upon you the respective degrees you have earned at Kansas State University. Graduates, please move your tassels to the left-hand side of your mortarboard. Please join me in giving a big round of applause to all of our graduates today.
Please be seated. At this time, college administration will prepare for the diploma cover presentation. I invite Dean Minton, President Linton, Provost Tabor uh, to join me in congratulating the graduates as they cross the stage. Our department heads will be the first to graduate our graduates as they are recognized as well. Dr. Jennifer Borman and Ms. Dina Kaur, Assistant Deans for the College of Agriculture, will now introduce the graduates for individual recognition on the stage and photos. We will proceed in the order by major as listed in your program. Dr. Borman. It is now my privilege to introduce Dr. Alan Featherstone, head of the Department of Agricultural Economics, who will join us in celebrating the graduates receiving a Bachelor of Science in Agribusiness and a Bachelor of Science in Agriculture with a major in Agricultural Economics. Anna Page Ballard. Curtis Allen Bloom, magna cum laude. Katie Marie Prawl, summa cum laude. Mitchell Robert Reimer. Sydney L. Shear. Quinton Thomas Stockline. Audrey Elizabeth Weatherby. The following students are degree candidates for Bachelor of Science in Agricultural Economics. Bailey James Eck. Kyle Joseph Meyer. Cody Allen Mills. Caleb Matthew Saville. Nicholas Lee Schmidt. Joseph Stout, cum laude. Isaac David Wingert, summa cum laude. I am pleased to introduce Dr. Jason Ellis, head of the Department of Communications and Agricultural Education, who will join us in celebrating the graduates receiving a Bachelor of Science in Agriculture with majors in Agricultural Communications and Journalism and Agricultural Education. The following students are degree candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Agricultural, Agricultural Communications and Journalism. Rebecca Grace Flesher, magna cum laude. Jamie Dellen Foster. Jillian Renee Keller, magna cum laude. Dawn Marie Ledebor. Amelia Marie Schatz. Next, Dr. Raj Kosla, head of the Department of Agronomy, will join us in celebrating the graduates receiving a Bachelor of Science in Agriculture with a major in Agronomy. Braden Edward Carlgren. Garrett Thomas Cudney. Ethan Sanders Goff. <laughs> Kelling Brian Grayful. <laughs> Kaylee Jo Heimer.
Bryce Robert Herman, magna cum laude. Nathaniel James Oldie. Adrian Paul Pishney. Brendan Dean Whipple. Next, Dr. Steve Keeley, head of the Department of Horticulture and Natural Resources, will join us in recognizing the graduates receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Agriculture with majors in Horticulture, Park Management and Conservation, and Wildlife and Outdoor Enterprise Management. The following students are degree candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Agriculture, Horticulture. Cole Falkender Beaker. Brenner Dane Donovan. Mason David Klish. Abby Diane Leeds. Cassidy Steele Paulson, cum laude. Jackson Jacob Rebel. Zachary Lee Schischler. Catherine Marie Schonberg, summa cum laude. Logan Hilton Waite. The following students are degree candidates for Bachelor of Science in Park Management and Conservation. Jennifer Lynn Boucher. Bryce William Emch. Jake Aiden Falkender. Adam Cooper Fisher. Christopher Carl Warner. Brady Kyle Wolken. The following students are degree candidates for Bachelor of Science in Wildlife and Outdoor Enterprise Management. Jacob Lowell Biddle. Evan Matthew Gordon. Kyle Bradley Simmons. Ashley White. It is now my privilege to introduce Dr. Mike Day, head of the Department of Animal Sciences and Industry, who will join us in celebrating the graduates receiving a Bachelor of Science in Agriculture with majors in Animal Sciences and Industry and Food Science and in Industry. The following students are degree candidates for Bachelor of Science in Agriculture, Animal Sciences, and Industry. Emily Renee Albright. <laughs> Hannah Elizabeth Allen. Casey Nicole Allen. Andrew Anderson. Jacob David Argabright. Ian Ellison Beatty, cum laude. Jonathan Bennett, cum laude. Benjamin Robert Bradbury. Alexis Faith Brenner.
Cade William Burden. Sophia Grace Byers. Haley Marie Carmen. William Garrett Kramer, magna cum laude. Ray Laurencia Daniel. Autumn Elizabeth Eggers. Kayla Irene Ogeron. Taylor Kathleen Falkenstein. Peyton Ashley Freeman. Jordan Nicole Hammer. Kylie Louise Hahn. Garrett Haven. Tara J. Heilman, magna cum laude. Hayes Landon Hutter. Jessica Virginia Johnson. Katie Ann Craybill, summa cum laude. Ryan Thomas Ledley, cum laude. Whitney Rebecca Lively. Helen Limler. Madeline Renee Mankey. Brianna Lee Maudlin. Caden David McAfee, cum laude. Kinsey Nicole McAtee. Chloe Elise McGee. Brianna Lauren Moore, summa cum laude. Grace Catherine Neal. Colby James Nichols. Madison Nicole Nielsen. Hannah Lynn Rafferty. Shay Aubrey Randall. Brandy Joe Schnitke, summa cum laude. Ashton Christopher Schwartz. Jessica Lynn Smallfield. Kaylee Ray Sund. Fabiola Emmed Trinidad Gonzalez. Patrick Willem Julian Vandernaugh. Emily Lene Weber. 
Jaden Danae Worth. Carly J. Wigton. Dalton Lee Wright. Shelby Lynn Yoho. The following students are degree candidates for Bachelor of Science in Food Science and Industry. Leslie Elizabeth Diaz. <laughs> Megan McLaughlin. <laughs> Matthew Scott Nisus. Nice. Nisus. <laughs> Emily Lynn Smith. Saray Zong. Lisa Nicole Zitterveen. Next, Dr. Julia Dogan, Interim Department Head of Grain Science and Industry, will join us in celebrating the graduates receiving a Bachelor of Science degree in Bakery Science and Management feed science and management, and milling science and management on stage. The following students are degree candidates for Bachelor of Science in Bakery Science and Management. Fernanda Cantu Corona. Mackenzie Halbert. Gage Roberts. The following students are degree candidates for Bachelor of Science in Feed Science and Management. Anastasia Grace Elul. Julia Alexa Rivera. Callie Marie Soyez, cum laude. Elliot Lane Strom. The following students are degree candidates for Bachelor of Science in Milling Science and Management. Peyton Danielle Huss. Brendan Matthew Meek, cum laude. Dr. Mosier, that concludes our diploma presentations. It is now my pleasure to introduce Dr. Ernie Minton, Dean of the College of Agriculture and Director of K-State Research and Extension, and invite him to the podium for the closing of our ceremony. Dean Minton. Graduates, commencement is not about the end, but rather the beginning. The beginning of new careers, for some new families, and for all of you, a new stage of your lives. You can be proud to be a graduate of K-State, the first operational land-grant university in the nation. But we do have a few expectations of you as a K-State College of Agriculture alumnus. First, 
We expect you to capitalize on your education and the training you have received to make valuable contributions in your careers and to your professions, as well as to continue your professional development as a lifelong learner. Secondly, we expect you to build upon the outstanding record of citizenship, philanthropy, and service that you have established at K-State by becoming outstanding members of the communities to which you relocate to start your careers or to continue your schooling. Get involved and be engaged in community activities. They need your talents and leadership skills. Finally, what truly makes the K-State College of Ag great is the involvement and expectations of our alumni. Thus, we expect you to keep bleeding purple, to stay involved with K-State, and to continue to challenge us to be the best that we can be. I'm confident that I speak for all of our faculty, staff, and administrators when I say that it has truly been our privilege to contribute to your education and be a part of your lives these last few years. We are very proud of you and we wish you the very best. Thanks to all of you for participating in this special occasion for our graduates. Thank you uh, once again to our musicians for sharing your talents and to Hannah Ballard, Troy Anderson, and Brendan Meek for speaking at our ceremony today. We ask that you all please remain seated for the formal recessional. For our adjournment, please rise and join us in singing the K-State alma mater.